Well, that's a good start, isn't it? That's a really good start. Yeah. I, I don't know how I forget about these things. Yeah, welcome to another Def Skid Marks uh, stream. Yeah, I just want to start by saying I'm still a little bit off, obviously. I've just come back from being ill on top of being ill. Uh, yeah, don't know how that happens, but I manage it. And, um... I'm okay. I'm feeling alright. I'm feeling well enough to stream and all that, but yeah, I might need to take a few breaks more frequently than usual, you know, unless we're talking about the FTL stream where I just drank so much that I was uh, using the bathroom every half hour. Let's boot up the game, shall we? Um, I'm going to drop the volume a little bit because this game is louder than most. So let's take it down to 12 decibels. Should be alright. Is it decibels or decibels? Right. Okay, and you guys can tell me just how loud I am against this game, if you would. There we go, right, it's boosted up. Yes, winners still don't do drugs. Still don't use drugs. Let's pop this up the top corner over there. There we go. Right, so yeah, Death Skip Marks. If you've not seen this game before, if you weren't during the, um, here during the last stream, you can't hear me. That was quick. This game is very loud, so yeah. Right. Want me to drop it? Might be a good idea, right? How far down do I need to take it, though? It won't duck for me. I turned off ducking. It was fucking up a few things, if you remember correctly. Yeah, I turned off ducking a long time ago, Wind. Don't you remember the, um... The stream that we had with, uh, Vermintide? So how's it now? Is this any better or worse? It seems fine. Okay. That's good. Yeah, so um diff skip box, as I was saying during the um the intro just there. It's a bit of a um it's a comedy action sort of style game. It has a roguelike sort of feature, so the game is entirely randomized. And um, it's it's got to be loud as it's the nature of the game, just not... Yeah, you want it to, my voice to be sitting over it, but the game is loud. It's intentionally loud. But yeah. Um, it's got roguelike features overall, so in other words, when we do a playthrough, everything's going to be mostly randomized. Uh, we're going to be playing this until we die or until we complete the game and you know each each playthrough is a sort of individual thing But this is kind of based on Mad Max you Know the film series? I hope so uh, The concept of the game is that we're trying to drive to a concert. We're trying to get to a concert so It's just kind of a jokey thing and we're gonna encounter a lot of groups and stuff that are gonna try and want to kill us on the way there different gangs and stuff like that So anyway, um I don't think I need to adjust anything. It should be alright. Yeah, just let me know if the volume is dropping any further. So I start a new game. What's yeah, this is the second stream. Motherfucking awesome is in the name. That's what. I'm Mark Skid. I imagine this, this is gonna be a lot quieter trailer. than usual. Boring, right? Don't worry your pussy little head about it, because I got wind of a shit kicking concert a ways away. And all that lies between me and the show is road and blood. Hey. Someone's got to put the car in carnage. Might as well be me. Today's drink is, um... Oh god, what is it? It's some form of apple juice. I can't remember who whose it is, though. I didn't really pay much attention. Uh, it might be, um... Is that Big Brown Wind? I forgot what it's called. Why does it matter so much? Right. Yeah, anyway, um... Yeah, this is the main character, Mark Skid. He's gonna be the driver for the beginning, and gradually we're gonna build up our group that's going to be driving along with us, but we've got to pick a vehicle first, and I want you guys to do so. I want you guys to pick the, um, the vehicle yourself. So, I'll give you the option of a few. I know I did during the last stream. I think the previous options was the Bummer, the, um, the Standardo XL, and the Accardo GT, and I think you went for the Accardo. I can't remember. But yeah, different ones do different things. So, um... For this stream, I'll give you the option of, uh, let's see. Keep it kind of simple, I think, for this stream once again. 
Okay, that seems reasonable. Right, we'll go for these three. We've got the mini whiner. Sadness is best better shared in tiny spaces where farting is a crime against humanity. Uh, four seats, very small and nimble. Bonus starting crew, so you start with another member apart from Mark. Don't expect to push others around with such a small engine, so it's not going to be very good at taking enemies off the road and stuff like that. Uh, YouTube's rather quiet, anyone here? Oh, you mean, right, okay. Well, I do recommend that people on YouTube come over here anyway because it's got better latency, it works out a lot better, you know. I know, I forgot my sponsors today, terrible. Next we got the brown van, which is basically sort of hippie mobile. Whoa, man, not cool to be shot at, uh, so, so let's protect ourselves in, like, protection-like, what? <laughs> Guess it was supposed to be hippie speak. Four seats, the passengers are immune to damage, but the car has less armor. And finally, we've got the vintage Pobble Wagon. Old military car, uh, cars do have style, that's for sure. Four seats, and 150% uh, range damage, but only 50% melee damage. So you've got to be really careful with this one, I'm guessing, and just stick to using guns. Concentrate on ranged weapons, and everything should be fine. So, there's your option, guys. Number one will be the vintage uh, Pobble Wagon. Number two will be the, the brown van. And number three will be the mini whiner. So take your pick, guys. One, two, or three. Hmm. I've not played as any of these before, I believe. I may have tried with the brown van at one point, but um, I think you unlock these different things from completing the game with different characters, you see. From what I recall, anyway. Are you gonna go with the mini whiner? Okay. Let's see. So we got th we got two votes on number three, one on number two, and one on number one. Okay, we got two on number one, so it's a tie now between the um, the vintage and the mini. Should I say the, uh, the army vehicle? The ones we got. What the fuck is that? Might have to give this one a go at some point, but my god, one seat as well. That's terrifying. Object 666. Guessing that's one that you get from complete it with the alien. Guessing you're able to use this thing in the back as well. Right, so um, it's a tie between number one and three. So next vote gets to pick which one it'll be. Right, so number one, let's go with it then. Thank you for breaking the tie, Mr. Sully Tubby. Right. I can't remember how to play this game. We have death toll, we have 3,114 points. What the fuck? When did we get that many? We did do quite well last time, if I remember correctly. So we can put as many stickers as we want here. Uh, we've got we've got quite a number to pick from. It's randomised. It's a horse po horseman of the apocalypse. Yes, exactly. I thought that's what it was going for. So first thing is my boss is an asshole sticker. You get a tip on a boss. So when we come across a boss, it will give us a tip on how to defeat it. Might be a good one. It only costs two hundred and fifty. How's my driving? Call my mum. ID six six six. Bonus car stats that could be handy once again, especially for this vehicle. That's a thousand. Golden Youth. Now this one's a bit vague, it just says be stunning, I'll let you guys find out what exactly that does, and it's only 6 points. We got better starting weapon, um, that's a veteran one, and I think that would be kind of handy because of course we're supposed to be focusing on guns, hopefully it does give us a gun though, I didn't really think about that. We've got um, Hick Smash which is bonus, bonus melee damage, won't be much use, definitely will avoid that one I think. And finally, we've got Take Less Damage from Neo-Nazis, which could come in handy, but to be honest, I've never found those ones too useful. Maybe towards the end they would be useful. Now, how many stickers can you have on this? So yeah, you guys pick. What, what stickers would you like to see on this van that we've got going? <sighs> Hick Smash. <laughs> I don't think the Hick Smash is going to be any use. Are you sure we want, we want that one on, though? Or are you just, uh, quoting it? Okay, we'll go with the Golden Youth since no one else is picking anything. Uh, how many can you have on? I don't know. G uh, pick some more, guys. Be a vet, okay? Let's go with that. I'm guessing we can have three, so what's the last one gonna be? We're gonna need these stickers for this car, I think, because you guys um, kind of picked one that 
I'm a little bit skeptical about trying, you know, but uh, I suppose it's a little bit better than trying to get through the mini whiner. That could be really hard. Are you sure the hick smash? I don't think that's going to be any good, really. I really think that's not going to be any good. Like I said, we're not doing melee damage with this vehicle. We want to focus on doing range because um, it gives us 50% reduction. You want to go to the mum one? Okay. Can we add any more? I don't know if we can. Tempting to try. Oh, we can. Oh, right, okay. So you can add even more. And I've just accidentally added one, I can't actually remove it. Oh well, don't matter. Uh, we could afford to actually do the neo-nazi one if you guys want, but the points are very hard to come across because this is actually how many kills you get. Uh, so we can maybe save this for our next run, but I might do some runs in the meantime with no stickers just to get you guys more points. So it makes things easier when we do actually stream. What do you think, take it or not? Actually ring her and ask. <laughs> she should be here. She should be. If she cared. If she loved me. Leave it. Okay. Anyone else? Should we take it? Or... No. Okay then. Right, let's get on the road then. Uh, I cannot remember for the life of me. Oh, why is it giving me... Oh... Just give me a tip on Wormy. Like, I know how to beat Wormy. It's one of the easiest bosses. Ah, so that's a bit of a waste of points, unfortunately. We thought you like worms, so we put a worm in a worm. So you can fight your worm inside another worm. Also known as Ronald Dump. I wonder what that's a reference to. Wormy is into politics. He enjoys saying random hateful things and seeing morons thrilled by, thin by this. He also wears rodents on his head. Uh, from time to time. Fair enough. Whatever you're into, I guess. Now, I can't remember how to play this. Now, this is the effect of the beautiful thing. We're fighting Riddick first, as well. Um, Mark starts with... with, uh, yeah, blonde hair. Rest in peace, Riddick. Right, okay, so, um... This is where you guys come in. We're gonna be picking left or right. You guys get to pick left or right. Just, just vote for yourself, obviously. Uh, why do I need to clarify that? You're not going to vote for anyone else. On the left-hand side, we've got the possibility of um, garbage being dumped on the track, which can cause damage to our vehicle. We have, <laughs> and we have a Ned, a new Ned shop, which gives us the ability to buy, you know, certain things. I've never really been able to clarify exactly what it is these things add for the most part of the record. You guys are joining. Um, we've also got Route 666, which uh, I think normally amounts to more people on the road, but both have Route 666. Now on the right hand side we have pedestrians, which can be kind of handy for the death counter, you know, getting more points later on. And also on the right hand side we have Gimpsoros as well. Hello there Benny Bobber, thank you for joining. It's MLG, go left. Right, so we got um, two votes for right, three votes for right, one for left. Any more want to contribute? I'll leave it just a short while. Gimps are us. Okay, let's go to the Gimps. My mom would be so proud. Right. Okay, so, um, we've got a high career with, may as well take him, Mr. Horse. Now, he's actually got exactly the same stats as Mark. Mega Mark Skid. Love it. He is now Mega Mark. He's evolved into something completely different. And I think we'll give the gun to the horse. That's a good idea, isn't it? Because, um, the, the, the driver can't actually shoot for the record. I forgot to mention that, so that's why I rammed Riddick off the track. Now, we need jobs. Jobs give us more points, basically, in the long run. Oh, this is a bit of a shame. This one's a mess. Uh, we can't take duplicates of things, but we already have one, which is basically destroy a car and we earn 100 points. This is our money for the record. This is dollars, essentially. Uh, we have another stat for uh, blow up any machine by a ranged attack and not by killing its crew and you earn 175 points. That's rank 2. It might be a good idea taking that. I mean, despite the fact we... Well, I think we'll be able to destroy the car and shoot it, but we'll only be able to do it for ones where there's no crew members actually in, you know, a car, apart from the driver. And finally, we got destroy a robot, earn 150 points, but we're not coming up against robots just yet, so there's not much point in that. Arms dealer, we've got a pistol here. I think I might buy that and just shove it on Mark just to keep for now. You know, I think it is a reference to Hotline Miami. I still need to play that. I'll stream that at some point, definitely. Garage, uh, we don't need to go to the garage just yet. We've got a nice armored vehicle, so it, it you know it might help us in the long run. 
Uh, didn't we get like a... I thought we were supposed to get like a bonus stat on our car. From having the mum thing. But, you know, like, uh... <laughs> yeah, Orville Fudgepacker. I just know this, that's his name, yeah. <laughs> Hi there, Lexi. Thanks for joining. Right, we got the drug dealer, which drugs are normally very expensive, but they attribute to our character. There's four pips of, like, level, essentially. We've got melee defense, range attack, melee attack, and range defense. Obviously, the melee stuff isn't going to come in much use. Hello there, Pritchy. Thanks for joining. Uh, good to see you back. Hope you're feeling less dead. I absolutely am. Right, and finally, we got Learning Moss. Um... Brass knuckles aren't going to be any use. These are all really expensive as well. Installation foam cam gives us instant repairs. I think I'm going to go with the gun and let's get moving on. Right, so uh, let's do that. I'm going to try and kill as many people as we can down the road. We discovered it's not a real horse. Disappointing. Right, and we need to kill Lurney without actually, you know... Oh, we need to kill these pedestrians as well. We'll do that and then we'll focus on killing Lurney because I don't think he's going to be any use, like, in terms of doing damage to us and stuff like that. Lurney will also help us kill pedestrians because the death counter, regardless of if the AI killed them or we killed them, it doesn't matter. We still get the, the contribution towards it. Lurney, could you please stay in line with us so we can destroy your fucking engine? It's going to be hard to if he keeps ramming us like this. Right. It's going to take a long time, but we have a decent gun at least. There we go. And we got both points for that, thus earning a healthy amount there in terms of money. Right, so on the left-hand side, we've got the possibility of vans and clothes kind of pushing us in and stuff like that either side. Not not the actual enemy that we'll be fighting. We've got the King of Potato Chips store on, as well on the left. We're also making more mileage if we're going on the left, or kilometer age. Yeah, is that a word? If we go right... We have uh, trash on the road. Now, for you guys who haven't seen this game before, uh, for, the, for the record, feel free to vote while I'm talking here. Left or right, take your pick. Um, mileage is kind of important because basically making less mileage is going to allow us to get more done, whereas making more mileage is going to make us go towards the end of the game faster, if you get what I mean. So the game's going to get harder the more mileage we put on. But to be honest, like the difference there that's quite a lot overall, but yeah, we have the shop on the left-hand side, we might want to go there just to get another crew member. It's up to you guys, take your picks, left or right. Milano Gate, the De Euler Manor. Hi there, Jen, thanks for joining. Go left, right, so that's a vote for left and right, thus making, uh, yeah, both equal. Left, right, terrible, how would you do this? Left. Left. Okay, let's go left then. Right. So we got um we got another hiker here, which is a hobo. <laughs> He's not very good at shooting, unfortunately. It's good with melee. Um yeah, he doesn't have much melee defense, but he has good um, you know, defense against shooting as well. So uh, we'll take him for now, but he's not going to be very useful. Might want to designate him as the driver, actually, since he's not going to be doing much damage with a gun, you know. Right, we don't need heal anyone, everyone's fine. Jobs. We've got, uh, ramming. Destroy anything by ramming it into a guardrail or off-screen earns us 150 points. This could be good. We have survived the level, earn 100 points. Not particularly great. And also kill a crew member, earn 25 points. That's also not so good, really, but... I think, um, I may drop the range thing and just attribute it with, um, attribute destroy a car with these two, so we don't have to worry too much about, you know, destroying the car without destroying the crew members, if you get what I mean. I said I might keep it for now. I don't think there's anything else we can really get here. No guns. Uh, decent drug here. But, yeah, nothing we can really, we haven't got enough to pay for it. What's his name? Uh, Trenton Turil. Lovely name. Right, and uh, got a few things here, but I think we'll save cash. We need we need better guns, really, ideally. Right, so I'm not going to take the ramming because ideally we want to be shooting for the most part and not ramming. It's all point of our car. It's an armored car, you know. Want to just focus on shooting them from a distance and hopefully taking as little damage as possible as we go through. A uh, killer crew member could be handy, and also the victory could be handy. Uh. They, they, these two kind of contradict though, that's the issue, because that's destroy a car without killing crew members. 
and this is kill crew members. Obviously, this is worth a lot more, but um, I think we'll take that off for now. We'll live life hard. We'll go for victory. It's level two as well. So yeah, we're just going to be focusing on shooting the cars down, taking them out. He got change, and he's got a weapon. Good. We gave him the weapon though. Oh god, Dildora the Exploder. Right. Oh yeah, I've got to remember about these uh, vans being here. I like the way she's got like the crazy taxi vehicle suit as well. Hey, these guys are doing a fair bit of damage to be honest with shooting. So just take out the left hand side quickly. Nice! Those all flashed up there, so we got points for everything. 700, decent. Right. Uh, Lernie's friends we have, uh, Worry Whale. These tend to be like mascot suits. We met Lernie earlier. He's now dead. Poor guy. Right. I'll avoid shooting him. It's kind of hard. We've got to shoot at like a certain angle. Let's try our best to avoid it. There we go. Those guys die so quickly. We're doing alright actually. We've got a thousand um, dollars here. Oh god, right. Okay, so left hand side we have trash potentially on the road and Brutal Nick's shop and also Route 666. We're going to be making not much mileage there, and on the right hand side, now you guys got to listen to this who have not played before, this is Zugathar or something down the lines of that. Um, what happens is if you go to Zugathar and then you, um, I think you like, I can't remember, it's like get, a for get your fortune told or something like that, it actually randomizes everything, so we'll lose all our crew members, we'll lose our vehicle and get a completely random vehicle, but also on the right hand side, we have pedestrians as well that we can run over, and we're making more mileage there, so yeah. Complete randomization, or do you want to just stick to the vehicle? Right, so that's two for left. Is that a vote for right, Ravenite? Or do we say fuck it? But we have put a lot of points into this uh, vehicle right here. The clear option is right. Okay, so we got a tie for right, I think. Wind's changed. That's just really confusing me, Wind. Why? Really? After we paid for all those bumper stickers, you want to take us right? Are you sure? We're actually doing really well with this vehicle. I think that's a tie between left and right right there. So, uh, we'll do a tiebreaker. Whoever votes next, left or right. We're going for it. Up. I don't think we can go up. I don't think there is no any up, unfortunately. Jagged Squirrel Ledge or Strand Farm. My sister just rang, shall I ask her? Yeah, go for it. Diagonal. I don't think we can do that either. We can try, but we'll probably go into the rails. Don't want to do that. Clockwise 90 degrees. Hmm. In which direction, though? from 12. Kara says left. Okay, we'll take it left then. Right, okay, we got another crew member here, a punk. Unfortunately, um, he does melee damage, <laughs> fuck's sake. We're not doing so well here in terms of crew members, but at least we got four crew members, that's good. His name is Bernard Hardy. Right, okay, so we got jobs as well. Um, oh, damn it, these all clash again. We'll take cr kill crew member, but these, yeah, they're not gonna work out very well, unfortunately. Now, arms dealer, we need another gun, and there is indeed a gun there. We have a lot of points, so we may want to focus on actually building ourselves up. That's very expensive for an um, upgrade on the car, so fuck that. The drugs here are quite expensive as well, so it might be... Yeah, I think we're going to fuck that as well. Hockey pads, everything's expensive here, bloody hell. It really is. So we're just going to buy the gun and leave, I think. Even the gun's expensive. Uh, we'll, we'll keep the uh, punk in one of the backseat shooting because at least he doesn't have a deduction to range, you know, so that's good. Right, uh, I think we're good. Let's drive. Anarchy is all dressed like that, absolutely. They also have huge chin, oh my god, huge chins like that, you know, of course. All anarchists do, we know that, oh god. Right, we're, we're gonna be taking damage here, so hopefully we can destroy this quickly. Shit, I'm trying to shoot off screen here. I forgot that's one disadvantage of playing in window mode. You can't shoot off screen, like in, in a direction if you get what I mean. Right, so we got Lake Square on the left hand side, which is just pedestrians on the road, and then on the right hand side, we've got a skid road, which causes you to kind of straight from left to right, obviously. Um, and a bit more mileage, so 
You guys pick left or right. Also, this is Route 666, so this might be more dangerous, but I think maybe this would be the better option for the kill count, of course. Two left, one right, two right, one left, uh, two left even, sorry, we didn't drop a vote there. Shorter distance. Yeah, shorter distance can be good for ki uh, gaining more money, obviously. Yeah, for the long run. I'll let the next vote tie break. Oh, is it three left? What? Where did you get this third one from? Right, okay, let's go left then. I'm pretty sure we got more votes for left. Right, Aryan Roadkill, we're drunk and pissed and you're there. Now we have defense against Nazis, don't we? We've got Jed Avery and Augustin Oakley. We can always pull it to slow down time, by the way. Oh god, that's a lot of pedestrians. Let's try and get them all. We need to be careful here because um, of that rocket booster they have at the back of their vehicle. Now, if we kill them sooner, unfortunately, it means um, that we get, le get less kills on the road. Right, we've got randomization here, so we can't actually see what's ahead of us. We can only see the distance and if there's a shop. On the left-hand side, we have 613 kilometers, so a further distance and a shop. And then on the right-hand side, we have less distance. And, um, yes, you did just co count your sister's boat again. And less distance on the right-hand side, so, yeah. Up to you guys. Take your pick. Could be good going back to a shop, to be honest, so that we can maybe recruit a better member who's good with guns and also uh, change the jobs for one that's more suitable. Okay, I think that's pretty much... I'll let, I'll let a couple more come in and see if anyone says right, but I don't think anyone is. This doesn't seem like a good option. Right, okay, let's go left. Right, so, um, oh, here we go. We've got a prostitute, and she is actually good at shooting, so we'll take her with us. Um, who should we drop off? Maybe the punk? I think the punk, yeah, but unfortunately she has little defense in everything. Hi there, Sydney, thanks for joining. Right, so let's drop him off. Also, he has um, less health as well, so... Though, I'll leave it up to you guys, actually. I shouldn't be making these decisions myself. Do you want to see the punk go as a per and have the prostitute with us? Like I said, I think it will be better, but it's up to you guys. Sorry, I forgot that I let you guys pick the crew members last time. It took a while to kind of morph this um, live stream last time and kind of figure out what's best for me to decide and what's best for you to decide. Get the punk out of here. Okay. We could always have the punk driving, actually, and get rid of the hobo. That's an option. What would you guys rather see? Would you rather see the hobo go, or the punk, or would you rather just keep both? Tell me. Give me your opinion, guys. This is your playthrough, after all. I'm only doing the gameplay, for the most part. You know, I mean, I'm doing a few decisions here and there on what to buy and stuff, but, you know, I know this game, for the most part, and it's... It would take forever if I let you guys decide everything. Hobo got a go-go. Okay, we can get rid of the hobo, that's not a bad idea, like I said. He does have better range defense, admittedly, so that is one reason to keep him. So, you know, 12 hours stream then. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure these streams will get shorter and shorter the more I do them, because we're kind of learning from, you know, what what's best to actually do. What's the name of this? Um, this this her, uh, prostitute is called Martha McLeod. I like it. Right, okay, let's get rid of the punk then. Yeah, cool. We'll keep it that way. Right, have we got any, um... No, still no better jobs. Bloody hell, we're not doing great for the jobs, but we are earning a lot of money, so I can't really complain. Now, this is upgraded. This is better... The revolver is better than our previous range weapon, so I could always swap that out. I might do that. We have, um... Not much cheaper than the last store. Only slightly cheaper. Still, we have a lot of money. None of these are any use, though. I mean, these are good for defense, I guess. We could always buy one of those. We have a med kit as well and a repairing tool. That could be good. Though these are really expensive once again, so might be worth just saving the money and actually buying something later. I think we'll do that. We'll drop off the... We'll keep the money for now, because um, I think we're doing pretty well for how far we're running here so far, you know. Uh, so I was kind of shocked that some of you actually wanted to randomize this vehicle away, because this is actually a really good run already. Uh, we're doing for... We're doing okay, yeah. Doing really good. 
No good jobs. I mean, they, no, th this is good. I'm just not used to playing it where we're destroying the vehicle as opposed to, like, the crew members, if you get what I mean. It's working. It's working really well because we're doing a lot of damage, you know. Uh, also, we give, best give the prostitute this gun because she's stronger with, uh, you know, guns. So giving her the stronger gun would be the logical decision. Yeah, let's roll with this, shall we? This man was selling his body. He's got a nice little stubble and everything. Okay, Koi the Hard One. Lovely name. Trailer Park Patrol. And we have a an actual ear of corn driving the vehicle here. That's good. Right. Oh, we're going into a tunnel. So that might be what the uh, randomization was that we couldn't see. Boom. Nice. Yeah, we're not getting any kills for crew members here because we're not killing them directly, like I said. Anyway, le left hand side we've got Axe Ellie, which has um, just trucks. Pretty straightforward, Route 666, and we're making less distance there. And on the right hand side we have Golden Feather High, which has robots, which unfortunately we don't actually have the ability to uh, gain points from. So probably not a good idea. And also there's trash on the road as well, and we're making more distance. So I would say the left hand side is probably the better decision, but it's up to you guys at the end of the day. Uh, I've been, um... I've just been ill, Sydney, for the most part. Yeah, just been... in bed. <laughs> yeah, it's not really much has happened. Otherwise, just been editing a lot and stuff like that. Right? Okay. Alright. Like I said, I don't think we're going to be earning any money from going right, unfortunately, so... It's up to you guys, though. Don't forget, this is your playthrough. If you want to fuck yourselves over, feel free to. But... <laughs> I would have said left, but... It's up to you. You haven't actually said anything yet, so... That's one for left and two for right. Anyone else? Subtle hint there, Alonso. Right, okay, so that's two for left, two for right. That's not a subtle hint. I'm not going to put you down for just saying I would have. Or maybe you mean right. You know, like... Okay, so that's three for left and two for right, I believe. We're we gonna go for it. I don't think the Konami code is a, is an option, unfortunately. I could try it, but I think it might end up closing the game or something. Right, let's go for left then. So we have the East Moran Baptist Church. God hates fags, mullets, music, fun, and everything, pretty much. And uh, someone is sat in the back, I think. Celeb Bear. We have a uh, Marriette uh, Coombs driving, who has a beer. Lovely. So we just got to be careful of these trucks and just take these guys. This guy has a shotgun. Very accurate as well. Yeah, I don't... The, oh shit, I just accidentally grabbed... ...the fucking window that the game was in. Shit. Hold on a sec. Oh god, why can't I move now? Oh, this is not good. Oh, there we go, right. I got stuck on the edge of the screen then, that was weird. Anyway, left hand side we have Turning Blossom Falls, which has the King of Potato Chips store on uh, you know, that side. And then on the right hand side we have multiple enemies and a truck and a huge amount of mileage as well. So, yeah. And that's Old, Pre Old Pembroke Street. You need to be careful about clicking the outside of the bloody screen. It's so hard to avoid it. I would full screen this if I could. I said I do, ha I can do a monitor, but it's just... It's a pain in the ass to actually do that when I'm streaming because I like to see your chat to the right hand side if you get what I mean. <laughs> Left seems to always be the correct choice, so I'm going to vote right. Why do you think right's getting lonely or something? Toss this coin in, right. A left hand vote. Yeah, people on the YouTube, you might want to vote a little bit earlier, like as I'm talking, if you get what I mean, because obviously, if you've been a bit delayed, you might miss out on the vote. Right, so that's three for left and two for right. Is anyone going to. Bring right up, or... No, okay. Let's go with the left, then. Okay, so here we have no hikers, unfortunately. We don't need to recover health too much, so we'll leave that for now. Jobs? Ah, here we go. We have kill crew members level 2. Now, that's unfortunate because, once again, we're not going to be killing crew members, but hey-ho. 
Uh, we're not seeing many crew members at the moment, so it's not really a big issue because we don't really earn as much points as we would do for doing other things, but, you know. Uh, we have no better guns than ours. Is the garage cheaper? No, it's more expensive again. Amazing. What about the drug dealer? Mm, same price. Okay, we'll buy some, I think. But, uh, let's have a look at Lerny. Hockey pad. That's fairly cheap. It's about as cheap as it was last time, so... What's the hockey pad do? Melee defense bonus. Well, you need range defense bonus, not melee defense bonus, really. So I think we'll leave that as well. We're just not finding anything that we need. Yeah, I love this game's music. It's brilliant. Makes my, me kind of, you know... <laughs> right, so, um... I think we'll get... We'll get some range defense for one of our characters, but who? Guys, right, here's a decision. One, two, three, four, each number representing one of the crew members, right? In, in, you know, descending order. So, one is the hobo, two is the horseman, three is smart skid, and four is the prostitute. On who you're most likely to keep. And that person, I will give the range defense, okay? So, uh, because, uh, members do die and stuff like that. So, yeah, don't... Feel free to just pick a member and obviously, you know, I'll, um... I'll give them the drugs. I'm pretty sure the Twitch bot has a poll you can set up. Might be effort though. Yeah, I think um, as much as uh, as much as I'd like to go ahead and do that kind of thing, I think it would make things even longer for voting and stuff. But I kind of get where you're coming from, Pritchy. If we did have a lot more stream members, I would probably do that just to keep count. Right. So that's um, so far that's three for three, and that's Mark Skid, and then one for four, the prostitute, one for the horseman. Always take drugs. Always take drugs. <laughs> so I think we're keeping three then, Mark Skid. We'll, um, yeah, we'll give him the range defense then. Beef him up a little bit. Uh, I think I'll leave the melee defense for now. Save the sweet cash. Hopefully we can find some better guns and stuff in the next store. Oh, that's even more three. Okay, we're keeping Mark in this playthrough. Uh, the last the last playthrough we had, he was like the most disposable member, I think. You think, you think he died first? I can't remember. <laughs> right, it's okay, let's go for it. So we got Trailer Park Patrol, we got Ursula Cameron, and Rory Munez, I think there is, okay. Let's take out their vehicle. Ooh, got a machine gun, that's quite dangerous, that's a level 3 weapon. Hopefully we can take them out fast and dodge those bullets a little bit. Oh shit! I just killed him accidentally. No, we still got points for that, that was a bit weird. Right, on the left-hand side we've got Gimps for us, and we've also got Groupies, that's what the heart sign means. Groupies are just a, you know, like, um, fangirl, so to speak. And, um, on the right-hand side we have Groupies and Group 666. Unfortunately, though, it might be best to dodge the left, because if you look at this here, that is a lot of, um, sorry, I mean dodge the right, I'm getting confused here. No, because that is a lot of mileage right there. That's got to be taken as a huge amount of distance. Uh, that's like over 20 kilometers, well it's 21, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's up to you guys, obviously. Or is that, no, 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 that's, uh, that's not 21, that's 19. I'm getting very confused now. So that's, um, that's two for the right and one for the left. Did I deceive you? Did I? I like confuse you. So that's two for the left, two for the right. There's also gimps on the left though. Gimps. How could you how could you turn down those gimps? My mom would be so disappointed if she was here. That's one for the right, okay. So that's three right, three uh, two left. Nearly out of over there. Ignore wins left-handed tyranny. Wise words. Wise words. Anyone else gonna vote? I thought you said rupees. No, groupies, not rupees. We're not gonna be getting any rupees, unfortunately. We're not gonna be going through the grass going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Is it a tie break? I thought it was 2 3. Left? Okay. Um, now we need a tie break, I think. I can't really click out to see the chat, unfortunately, it's scroll up, but I think that is, um, like I said. Or is it? Is it? I'm getting confused. Yeah, go on, someone do a tie break then, left or right. I'm 
left? Okay, cool. Let's go. It's a quail worm. Sounds delicious. Oh, right, we got the alien. Now, the alien is, like, overwhelmingly good in terms of stats and stuff like that, but obviously we want to try and actually finish the game with different characters. Though we didn't finish the game last time, did we? I think I have finished the game with him. Um... So yeah, we can drop the alien out for one of the crew members. If you guys, uh, you know, want that, just say, like, actually say, I want, I want the alien in for instead of Mark Skid. Oh, you can't get rid of Mark Skid. What am I about? What you fuck? You, you really can't get rid of him. You cannot get rid of Mark Skid. He's the only member you can't get rid of. But we also upgraded him. Um, but yeah, if you want to get rid of the hobo or you know the prostitute or whatever, just let me know, and I'll sort that out in a bit. You guys, he needs to come to some sort of um, agreement. Alien for the hobo, right, cool. Uh, well, again? What the fuck? This is such a... Yeah, we're not like a kill count or anything like that. This has been weird so far. Those are useless for us. Oh god, that's even more expensive, I think. This just is not getting any better, is it? Fuck it, we're gonna stop buying things instead, I think. Might be a good idea. Uh, med kit. Might be a good idea to take a med kit. Could always drop one of our members instead of getting, like, um, snacks and stuff on the road. Alien instead of hobo. Okay, let's take, um, and also I think it might be a good idea we have the horseman drive instead. Because obviously he doesn't have any perks on the, um, the weapon and stuff like that, so, yeah. Uh, right. Let's see. So you guys come to an agreement. It's all good. Okay. Uh, I don't really know what to do with this. This is a bit tough, really. I don't know where to save it for now. I think it might be a good idea to increase the, um, the steering, maybe, from left to right. We'll just focus on going from left to right for now, because it is kind of tough moving around in this vehicle. It's not the best. And then also, I think we might... Uh, it might be a good idea getting some more ranged defense for Mark. We'll do that. Okay. So let's drive. Use a bit of money, so it's good. He didn't try to probe anyone for the first 100 kilometers, so it's all good. A nice guy. Alright, so the groupies. Stay away from our men. Normally they come in, like, more than one vehicle. Oh god. Right, hopefully we can take that down fast, because that probably is going to do a lot of damage to us. Though that said... This vehicle's pretty good at resisting damage, so... Also, we don't seem to be taking any damage from behind us. There we go. Nice. Wow. That was quite easy. So, yeah, we are getting... We are softening up a bit on the back right-hand side. We're at 76% damage now. Or health, so it should I say. Right, on the left-hand side, we have the gun workshop. We have pedestrians on the road. And, um... I don't think the gun workshop's going to be any use because we don't have any weapon modifications or anything, unfortunately. The weapons we can actually love the weapons with. Uh, and on the right hand side we have Hazy Harbor Bay which has crash on the road and uh, less mileage so up to you guys. So um, Blue Magnus the same right. Seabite is saying left or right? Uh, do you want me to decide for you Seabite? Is that what you're saying? The right hand side from Sid uh, Sydney. A left from wind. A rift from um, Raven Eyes. I'll take those right. Lacking guns. Well, the gun workshop doesn't give you guns, wind. It, it allows you to upgrade your weapons. I'm sorry, I forgot to explain that, didn't I, for you people. But you're not new, wind. You've seen me play this game loads. Right. Right, okay, I'm gonna go right then. To avoid this trash. Oh, look how innocent and lovely he is. Bucketeer. What a name. Marion Linville. Okay. Rex. Okay. Linux. Let's, uh. Oh, yeah, of course, we need to kill the pedestrians. Oh, no, there's no pedestrians on this track. What the fuck am I on? I'm getting confused. I thought we went the other way for some reason. You thinking the trash that's bouncing about is pedestrians? There we go. Right, uh, on the left, on the left hand side we've got Fat and Bluff. 
which has Skiddy Roads and Mr. Kill's Gun Shop, and on the right hand side, a little bit less mileage, we have Jervis Ave Alley, which has, also has a Skiddy Road, and also Route 606, so that's not making any difference really, you know. Music's like School of Rock, I think it's um, a little bit beyond School of Rock, but yeah, Tenacious D. Right, so that's a left. That's a right. I think people are trying to veto left because they're just getting so agitated by the amount of left that's going on here. We're gonna have like a fight in here soon, I'll be over left and right. That's another left from Sydney. Anyone else? Obviously, Mr. Kill's gun shop could be a, um, <laughs> a good one for, uh, you know, if he has guns. Hopefully he has guns. Right, let's go then. Okay, we have a, another hiker here. We have the Black Metalhead, who has an increase in... Is that melee damage, I think it is? Uh, resistance and... Oh god, yeah. He's not going to be very good for us, but if you want to swap him out for anyone, feel free to tell me, and we'll do that. What jobs do we have? Wow, still none that are any use again, that's so bizarre. Dismemberment or decapitation is not quite as good as uh, killing a crew member at the moment. Okay, um, gun shop. Oh, for fuck's sake, what kind of Mr. Kill you've really let me down here? There's no guns really that are any use to us. Right, we have an engine that's actually cheaper than we've seen it before, I think. And the drugs are cheaper, good, because we actually have one for range shooting as well. Right, so, um, Lurny as well, we have, um, we have a wrench which is cheaper than usual and also a med kit which is cheaper than usual. For the record, you give this to one of your team members and they'll heal the other members, or they'll, um, they'll, uh, repair the car if you give them the wrench, you know, and they don't shoot during that, you just have to turn it on and off if you get what I mean. There's a lot that we could, um, do here at least. Mr. Kill hasn't completely let us down, he's just let us down on the gun part. In Mr. Kill's gun shop, you know. Uh, Sydney says the horse with the metal head. Does anyone agree with that or not? Because that's the only one that we've had so far. If if no, just say no. If yes, just say yes. Obviously, I think um, it's probably best we do keep the, um, the horseman for the most part because he has resistance against range at least, and we're trying to avoid getting close to vehicles. No, okay. Useless, absolutely useless. It's terrible. Right, um, I think it might be best giving one of our members this, but um, what would, who would be best to give it to in terms of range damage? I'm thinking maybe the prostitute or the alien, or we could give it to Mark Skid. It's up to you guys. Take your pick. Um, we'll go for uh, alien number one, Mark number two, and the prostitute number three. And also, we might I might give them the range defense as well, while I'm at it. I don't think, uh, and in the meantime, I think I'm going to buy a... I think we'll buy a med kit. I think that might be best, because I think our uh, car is pretty well armored for the most part. At least I hope it is. We could get both in the long run, though, definitely. So, number three from Blue Magnus, number two from Blue Magnus, okay, change his mind. Right, and... Um, because at the moment, Marky is actually doing the least damage by a lot, so yeah. I'm going to just give this to Oh yeah, the numbers on the pictures. I don't think about that. Either. Yeah, yeah, go for the numbers on the pictures then. Out of the alien, Mark, and the prostitutes. Take your pick. Or maybe we'll do that next time. Because I'm going to confuse you guys. Stick to the original method. Right. I'll go for giving it the prostitute, because I think, um, yeah. Give that to Mark. So three then. I don't know, you're confusing the shit out of me, Blue Magnus, because of your kind of revote you did. <laughs> we'll go with the prostitutes, I think. Alright. <laughs> so... There we go. Right. And that's brought us down to, uh, flat sum. H2. Cool. Right. Let's get back on the road then. We've used a lot of that there. That's good. Aryan Roadkill. My god, they have an actual insect driving the car. Ast Austin Paraphilia. 
Paraphilia? What's paraphilia? Isn't that like a... God, I've forgotten. I like Lolita Fingerburst as well, that's good name. Oh, he has a range. We need to stay away from him. Or a crowbar or something like that. Like that. I would give it to the prostitute, yeah. It's a good payment. Oh, I don't know if I uh, did that right then. I think I did. Right, anyway, we have um, on the left-hand side and the right-hand side both randomised. We have Auburn, um, Auburn, sorry, Dorset Bend, and then New Chapel Meadow on the right-hand side. So yeah, take your pick. Left or right. A condition characterised by abnormal sexual desire, typically involving extreme or dangerous activities. What's that in the last two, sorry? I think Lord Skid has a glorious moustache. I can only hope to achieve that level of moustache someday. Oh, paraphilia, right. Yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah, sorry. My memory's that short. Oh, this is your option to pick right, guys. <laughs> Every time I have my hair cut, I'm never sure which way to wear my fringe. Oh, pick left the one time you could have picked right. It's disgusting. Right, so let's go right then. Okay, we have Route 666 Patrol, uh, San Santo the Brittle, and uh, Adram Blue. Oh, this looks a little bit dangerous, this road. What's going on here? I think we're alright, actually. Right, let's try to take out the. Uh, Back a little bit. There we go, got him. Nice. Okay, on the left hand side, we got Cool the Lookout app. I think that's supposed to be extended there, which has heavy traffic on um, with it, along with road bumps. So that could do damage to the vehicle as we go down it. And on the right hand side, we have Ship Flats, which has um, the potential of lorries either side, obviously. And um, yeah. Less mileage there, and also Route 666 could be more dangerous, but to be honest, I think it's going to be no less dangerous than the left-hand side. You gotta have a stylish moustache, Raven. How else will you attract people? Yeah, everyone needs a moustache. Oh, Ment on the Prostitute, yeah, she has a fantastic moustache. I think after this one I'm going to take a short break and um, go get myself another drink. Right, so Sydney says right. That's a lot of right there, okay let's go right. So we have an Eastmore on Baptist. Benny, a bit late there. I'm just going to call you Benny from now on. Yeah, there we go. I think we've got more enemies coming. Oh wait, no, never mind. Right, on the left hand side we got uh, Fat Audrey Manor. Interesting. And then on the right hand side, yeah, this has got nothing apart from Route 666. On the right hand side we have Sweet Dig Swale. These names. Uh, which has pedestrians, less mileage, and a shop as well. We have new Neds. So, left or right. I think I'm, uh, if we go to the right, I will take a break, because, um, yeah, we'll be able to go to the shop and I'll let you guys decide a few things while I'm away. If need be. Right, so that's two, t that's three for the right, I think. Oh, yeah, okay, definitely the right. Cool. So we have the snack bar, nothing there unfortunately, we have the jobs, oh finally, we've got um, each time someone dies earn 8 points, that's so great though. I think it's better than taking the, um, you know, the kill crew member for now, at least, because um, it doesn't state that obviously, like, um, the crew member's deaths, generally, uh, you have to kill them directly as I explained before. Whereas this is just deaths in general, so also the pedestrians on the walk, uh, on the walk across the what, what? Pedestrians doing a silly walk. I like it. Yeah. Uh, the pedestrians who walk across the track, if we hit those, that qualifies for eight points as well. So, yeah, it's good. Arms dealer, nothing. 
Uh, there's a better crowbar, but yeah, we don't need a crowbar. And there's also a quick fix here, but I don't think we need it just yet. We might be coming up a boss up against a boss soon, I think. Engine, move momentum forward, that's no use once again, it's a bit too expensive. Now these are cheap. So I think some maybe some drugs again. And um Oh yeah, we have the first aid kit, I forgot about that. I didn't even bloody I might get the um, injector just in case. Oh wait, no, sorry. I think I thought the injector for a moment was heal your ass. I only just noticed that on the um, on the syringe there. <laughs> I thought that was for the car for some reason, but no, that's the um, the spray can, isn't it? The uh, yeah. We have a mine though. I don't think that's going to be in use at the moment so, since our car hasn't got much mo movability to it. I think what we'll do is we'll give um, we'll give some Alex to one of the characters to increase their range defense. You guys pick who. Number two for the alien. Oh, sorry. Uh, we'll include everyone in this. So yeah, one, two, three, four. Take pick who's going to get range defense, and I'll be back in about five minutes. See you soon, guys. You guys picking number one, the horse? Okay. Seems pretty much unanimous. We'll give him the range defense in a moment then. Yeah, that's Blue Magnus Stormcrow says. Who gets resistance to shooting bang things? Yes. Of course I have another aircraft. He is lowered, yeah. Why not, though?
Right, okay. Uh... Please. Let's continue, shall we? Uh... Oh, so we're giving Alex to the horseman. There we go. Hopefully we're gonna bother with melee defense just yet. Okay. Is everything alright all right for you guys in regards to the sound balancing, by the way, still? So, hope so. Just let me know if anything's wrong, anything's changed or anything like that. It's been a while since I streamed, obviously, last, so... Yeah, I decided to do the stream first, so I didn't make any major fuck-ups with tomorrow's stream and, um... Sunday's stream, which will be Spyro and Resident Evil, respectively, so... Yeah. Okay, let's get a move on, then. Let's kill these pedestrians. D Dame the Chuckling. And Floria the Arrester. Love it. Oh, nice. Right, you see that's flashing up on the right-hand side now? That's because we're getting a lot of kills here. And that's good. Because our, um, the amount of money we're getting for this is pretty decent. And also, they're helping us out a bit, so... Right, is that it? Yep, okay, let's get to working on destroying their car. So we can. Doing a bit of evasive maneuvering here. Oh god. Taking a bit of damage there, a prostitute's ass. I'll get to healing her on the next stage. Right, so anyway, next we have Beacon Lane on the left hand side with pedestrians on the road, which again will be useful for getting our kill counter and the amount of money. Excuse me. Uh, we have, and also Brutal Nick's store. And on the right side side, we have Gentle Flower View. Oh, how pleasant. Robots, Route 666. Um, a little bit less mileage, but yeah. Once again, we don't have anything to kill the uh, rope. Sorry, I mean any. We won't gain any points off the robots, unfortunately. I have had my hair cut, yes. I think three people have asked me now. No, I just miraculously got shorter. That's one left vote. Another left. Cool. You can only heal while you're fighting enemies, by the way. In regards to the med kit, so that's one disadvantage of it. Left. Okay, let's go. Right. So what do we have here? Oh, we have a gimp. Leather mask buddy who likes pain. Lovely. Anyway, um, yeah, he is good against melee defense. Uh, sorry, I mean, he's, he has good melee defense, he is good at shooting, not very good at melee, of course, and um, range is not, you know, range defense is pretty poor as well. If you want to replace him, you know, anyone with him, then just tell me, but uh, it's up to you guys. Oh, thank you, Sydney. Um, just let me know, like, if you, want to, if you want him swapped out for anyone. What do we have here? Jobs. Ah. Oh. No, we already had that one. I'm gonna go bad, clearly. An upgraded hammer. We'll take that just as a modifier because we can combine it into the other weapons if we find um, one of the gun stores. Make it a bit more powerful. That's how they work. They work out better that way. Right. We have brakes. That's not very good, really. That's cheap. That's definitely cheap, and so's that, so that's good. I think we'll buy both of them. That might be a good idea. We haven't come. A We're barely coming across in any car repairs. Hello there, on site Silver. Thanks for joining. This, this is going good. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing alright. I'm not. I'm not particularly well at the moment, but I'm feeling okay for the most part. It's, hence the reason I've been away for a while. Yeah. Recovering. So no one wants the gimp. Okay, cool. Let's um. Poor gimp. <sighs> now, yeah, we we have range damage and range defense here. Leave your crew as it is. Cool. Now, um, who should we give this to? I think we'll just modify one of our characters that we already have. Uh, modified. In regards to, I don't think we're going to give anything to the alien just yet, so... Would you guys rather see this go into Mark Skid, or into the prostitute, or the alien? Take your pick. Two, three, four. I'm not including the horse because, um, you guys can vote for the horse if you want, but I'll give the range to someone else if you do that. For obvious reasons, because he's not actually shooting.
Three, giving it some arc. Cool. Anyone else want to vote? Oh, I see what you're doing, Steve Light. Thank you. It's alright, I give them enough time on YouTube to actually vote, but they need to be faster than on Twitch, obviously. Number three, I'm not sure. Right, okay, we'll go with Mark then. Uh, so, that brings his range defense up to three, and also his range damage up to one. So, got a bit of range damage in him now. Now, I need to remember to actually heal in this, uh, this length here. So, uh, let's keep going, shall we? Right, we're up against Lurney's friends. Once again, Spooning Sloth, Jamming Jackass, and Cannibal Chicken. Lovely. Right, let's get Mark on the heel then. Oh yeah, of course, we've got uh, loads of pedestrians on the road, so we'll be able to earn a load of shit, shit ton of cash here, so... I want to be careful not to accidentally kill them for those reasons. They have a flamethrower on the side of the fucking car. I want to be careful of that. I think I've disabled it, I was trying to shoot- oh fuck, I just killed one of them. Well, I don't think we're going to be getting the points for destroying the vehicle now, unfortunately. They're so brittle. Oh no, we did get the points, that's weird. How does this work then? Oh right, now it's boss time. On the left hand side we have White Awesome Kotag, which has nothing but the boss. It has Route 666, that's a bit unusual. I don't think that actually affects the boss at all. And we have Harvest Parnal S, whatever the S stands for, I'm not sure. Um, much less mileage, and also new Neds as well, the shop. So, Benny's gone with the left. What a lovely show that must have been. <laughs> I wish I could hold you in my arms. That might make you feel better. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> East, yeah. Well, you have a hundred, uh, sorry, a thousand, so... Yeah, to the right. Okay, let's go to the right then. Uh, wait a moment. No, we've only had one vote for the right and one vote for the left. Sorry, I must have imagined the part where we had more votes. Right, so that's two for the right. Okay, right it is. Let's go. Oh, we have another hiker. Uh, she's going to be absolutely useless for us for obvious reasons. She has melee, increase. Um, for people who are joining like later than the beginning, by the way, this car is much better at range than it is melee. I think it has like 50% melee, whereas it has 150% range damage, so overall like the range damage is far superior. So the goth here is actually, you can see here, much better at melee, so she's not going to be much use to us. But if you guys want to take her anyway, obviously let me know. We'll do something about that. Right, so none of these are any use for us, unfortunately. We've got better attributes already. I need to read this again. Destroy a car and earn 100. Oh no, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, blow up the- sorry, I'm- I'm looking at the wrong fucking thing. That's what it is. I've been looking at that for when it ticks off, not that. I'm an idiot. Ah, we have repairs. Ah, shit, that's a bit expensive, though. That's 50% damage as well, increase, uh, sorry, repair. And we're not even close to that, so it might be a waste of money. But I'll let you guys decide if you want to take it or not. Just say yes or no. In regards to the repairs, if you want to take the repairs, go for it, you know, because we're going to be fighting a boss, so it might be quite hard. Ah, a submachine gun. Great. We need a submachine gun, definitely. So we'll drop off one of these Magnums uh, revolvers, and then we'll get a submachine gun. It's quite expensive, though. Who should we give this to? Maybe give it to her, since she does a lot more damage, and then we'll give... We'll give, you know, keep the alien with the Magnum, the revolver, sorry, and have Mark, Mark with the other revolver. No? Okay. You want to risk it? We could die right here. Or alternatively, if we don't buy that, we could always get some. Um... Hello there, Frog Radar. Thanks for joining. Did I? Did I already say that? Am I getting more? <laughs> yeah. If we don't buy it, we could always get some more drugs at least, or a drug at least. Pones. Harry Alex. More range damage would be good, I think. Take them out a lot quicker. It's when we come up against the boss that literally, like only can take melee damage. That has happened to me in the past. I'll just ram the car into the side of it instead of, um, you know, shooting it. It's an absolute nightmare. Anyone? Repairs? Yes? No? 
when the guys voted. We'll leave it at that if no one else votes shortly. Okay, let's just leave it then. So we'll get some uh, range upgrade. And, um... I don't know who to put it on, though. I think we will shove some more on maybe... Oh, I'll let you guys decide again. So, two, three, four, take your picks. Hello there, Mark. Thanks for joining. Yeah, you could always go for five of car repair if you want, if you change your mind about it. I've been ill. I've been ill for a good while now, yeah, unfortunately. So that's two for the alien, sorry, one for the alien and one for car repair. Trucks or car repairs. You guys have gone extremely quiet, so you're not enjoying this anymore. I can't sit here dancing forever, so... Okay, well, we'll go for the, um... I, I think maybe we'll go for the, uh, car repairs if no one else is voting. Yeah, let's get a move on this. Oh god, groupies, uh, giant tentacle, best way to die. Don't wait, it shield, uh... Don't wait that it shields down before attacking. What? Don't wait that it shields down is... What? Is that English? Oh, right, so you gotta wait for its shield to go down. Yeah, got it, right. Okay, so this is a bit of a problem, actually. Oh god. We need to keep on just gunning at it, I believe, until... Oh, Jesus. Wow. That is doing a lot of damage to us. We need to heal ourselves. Just keep on avoiding this. Jesus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. It's a good job we have those car repairs, to be honest. I think we're gonna go down here. Oh, shit. Well, there we go. That's that over already. Bloody hell. That was quick. Oh. That one is so dangerous. Stop shooting at the shield. Right, okay, so you're not supposed to. But it doesn't... Oh, that reflects damage. Oh, okay. Shit, I didn't know that. It's been such a long time since I actually fought this one before. I have beat it, though. Oh, I'm an idiot. So that was my fault almost entirely. Oh, well. I guess that's this run over. It was good to actually stream this again. But, yeah, I think... Um, I don't know whether or not to do it in future, but we'll do another FTL stream. And, uh... Yeah, we'll see how that goes and stuff. It's gonna end up killing itself at this rate. I had real bad trouble absorbing what the hell that meant, to be honest. Uh, you know, best way to die, don't wait that the shield is down. For some reason, in my head, it should be, don't wait for the shield to go down or something like that, you know. You need to read between the lines. Oh, it's dead. There we go, we won. No problem. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that anyway. You seem to go very quiet towards the end, so I might not do this game again for uh, obvious reasons. But uh, we'll see in future, we'll see. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you maybe tomorrow for Spyro. We've, yeah, doing Spyro at 7pm. And then, um, is it Sunday? Sunday, I believe I'm doing, um, yeah, Resident Evil HD Remaster, continuing that. So, yeah, um... I'll see you guys, hopefully. Uh, in regards to interactive streams, I'll do another next month, more than likely. I'll probably go back to doing FTL again. Yeah. Take care of yourself, guys. Thanks for joining.